We're gonna test the most insane block search experiments that not many have tried. Cause 16 experiments wasn't insane enough. Also, at half a million, I'll give away 50k Robux. So yeah, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps a ton. Kilo is the worst fruit in the game. But this trick might make it one of the best. The higher the meteor, the bigger the impact. Kilo fruit has the perfect abilities to simulate that. But will the damage increase? First, we're gonna use the normal ability. 2k damage, that's alright. Now we're gonna go all the way up and crash down. I guess Kilo is that bad. At least we know that Blocks Fruits doesn't have Meteor Physics. But believe it or not, Blocks Fruits does have some real physics. For example, Life Fruit bouncing off walls. This can happen infinitely. But what would this look like in a very tiny room? Imagine how loud this would be. A while ago, I learned that Pop Fruit has an infinite range attack. Wait, that actually hit? But is this actually true? We're gonna see if the heavy paw can really travel infinitely. Fire the paw, and now we chase it. I'll be surprised if it actually keeps going. Yup, it despawned, which means paw does not have infinite range. But it's still amazing for fighting. Is it possible to use a fruit without having a fruit? Okay, let me explain. In the first C, there's a prison area, which has a fruit remover. But what if you use a fruit's ability, then remove the fruit? Use the ability, remove the fruit, and I still have the transformation while having no fruits equipped. But what if I equip another fruit? Will I have multiple fruits? I mean, hey, at least I keep my speed. Let's compare the three fastest fruits to see which one comes out on top. Starting with the dough fruit. And we're off to a fast start. I kind of forgot to awaken them, but this race is still pretty balanced. Alright, that's pretty good. Though I wonder if the life fruit can beat that time. Light is regarded as the fastest fruit in the game, but I think the one after can beat it. But it's way faster than dough fruit. You may be thinking, what is possibly faster than light? Well... I think we have a winner. Portal Fruit is obviously the fastest. Speaking of the Portal Fruit, it has an ability called Dimensional Rift, which kinda works as a black hole, an inescapable force. But for this ability, we're gonna see if an enemy can escape. Can I run out? Nope, I get sent back. Surely I can teleport. Never mind. The only ways to escape is to reset, kill the host, or wait a painful amount. Finally, is it possible to awaken a fruit without doing raids, which may sound simple, but aren't raids the only way to awaken fruits? To do this, you need to somehow get in the raid box. You head down this hole, which leads you to this platform. Use flash step to no clip, then head to this small surface next to the box. Go to this platform, and finally flash into the box. Can I awaken my light fruit? You cannot talk to this NPC. Alright, you're getting it now. I want to see if I can lag the server. Apparently, if I use the magma floor ability and reset, it's surprisingly still there, as if it's a part of the map. Now, let's repeat this. Yeah, I'm already getting frame drops. Experiment is successful. There are many fruits you can awaken, some being more difficult than others. For instance, flame is a piece of cake to awaken, while Buddha is a big pain, unless you're number skull. But what if you complete a raid and switch to a better fruit and finally awaken it? Well, here goes nothing. That was eventful. I just ate a dough fruit after a flame raid. So let's see if we can aw- I guess not. By combining abilities, you get yourself a blocks fruits combo, which usually helps for finding and grinding. So we're gonna try some mythical fruit combos to see how good they are for damage. The first one is Dragon Z plus Electric C. All right, so first we use the electric floor and now the heat wave beam. 7k damage is pretty good considering my moves are kind of low level. The next combo is Venom C plus Venom F. First, we use Venom C, then Venom F right after. The Fog and Serpent are both poisoning the enemy simultaneously. And finally, release F. In total, we did 14,000 damage, but at best, we could have done 50,000. Final combo is a Leopard combo. Considering Leopard is the most valuable fruit, this will be overpowered. The combo is kinda hard to explain, so let me show you how it's done. First, you transform, then punch four times. Then hold the Z move. Press F. Then X. And finish it with C, which concludes the Leopard combo. The combo did 23,000 damage. Imagine that in a real fight. Recently, there's been a new weird glitch going around. If I transform with Leopard and sit in the chair... Wait, what? The Leopard T-Pose is actually real. Imagine dying to a T-Posing Leopard. But what if I transform again? And I got a double body? Now that's even worse than dying to a T-posing leopard. I want to solve the biggest Blocks Fruits mystery. What is beneath the entire map? To do this, we need a no clip for the world. But to do that, we need a swim which isn't very safe. Let's remove our fruit. There we go. Alright, now we're good. And yeah, it's impossible to no clip from this height. So let's go deeper by using the Buddha fruit. 
Yeah, there is no way to no clip through the ground. But there is one final trick. Resetting. Did you guys see that? Why is planet Earth below us? What if Bloxfruits is another planet full of alien species? That explains the weird physics. Poffer is the best for range, or is it? Based on the wiki, Stringfruit Sniper has the best range in the game. But judging by how good the paw is, that doesn't seem likely. But let's put it to the test. First, a full court shot. Position our mouse. <laughs> That was not a bad shot. However, not as good as the pop fruit yet. But now let's crank it up and do a 45 degree sky shot. That's like one pixel. That is way better than pop fruit. The string fruit has my approval. I guess the pop fruit has some competition now. If you die while holding a fruit, you sadly lose it. But what if you can save it? I've seen a few talk about this, but if you press backspace after you die, I hope I didn't waste 200 grand. The fruit is still there, all in one piece. Experiment is successful. What if you combine the fastest things in the game? The leopard transformation, the Ming speed boost, and most importantly, the pilot helmet. The best item when it comes to speed. How fast can it be? First, we go leopard mode. Now we enable the Ming boost, and we are crazy fast. I think we might be faster than a light fruit, so let's compare it. In experiment six, light fruit took eight seconds to cross his bridge, but I think this combo might beat it. I'd say the pilot helmet carried. Dofruit is pretty strong, but how strong is it? We're gonna see if Dofruit can climb a steep mountain and if it goes airborne from a ramp. Now let's roll up that mountain. Going, going, going. That was cleaner than I expected. The roller is pretty much a turbo mountain goat at this point, but let's see if their fast climbing comes with high friction. I mean, with this speed, it should be pretty f You know, I kind of expected more from that. What if we do it again, but with a speed boost? It should be better, right? Did you guys see a difference? Cause I sure didn't. But I guess Dofruit is still amazing for climbing. The rubber fruit has the most fun movement in the game. The slingshot ability lets you swing like Spider-Man. And I want to see how far it can go. In between these islands is a boat. Which you will see later on why it's useful. Can we make it to the island? Finally a clean shot. You pretty much lag back almost always. Who needs speed hacks when you have a slingshot? If you ever played Blocks Fruits, you probably know the map looks like this. But what would that look like with realistic lighting? Imagine if the game was always like this. This experiment might just speed up grinding. In the portal fruits, the quantum leap portals damage enemies, which gave me an idea. First, I'm gonna group together NPCs. All right, they're in a group. We go above them and use the quantum leap below. If I leave them in the portals, the enemies take damage nonstop. By repeating the process, you get free kills, which means free XP, which means free levels. We ran a total of 20 experiments, but there's a final one I want to test. And that is if we can reach 500k this year. Press subscribe if you want to be in the experiment. And if we get 20k likes, I'll do a video on the entire history of Bloxfruits. But for now, that's a wrap.